Hi, this is John from IWillTeachYouToSucceed.com. Today I'm going to walk you through the Net Worth 100x Predictive Personal Net Worth Calculator. The word predictive is not one you'll see often when talking about a net worth calculator because most net worth calculators that are available out there today purely give you your net worth, your personal net worth at a point in time today. What Net Worth 100x does, it does give you your current personal net worth, but it also gives you, it predicts, it's able to predict your future personal net worth. Let me take you through it. Before we go into the tool, let me just show you a few things. The first is what every person who's serious about their finances wants to know. First thing is what is my current personal net worth? Sometimes it's quite hard to confront this because we built up debt over time and what we think we are worth sometimes isn't quite as much as what we thought. And very importantly, this question you may not have asked yourself, but I'm going to put it out there to you. you we need to have this discussion. <laughs> what contributed to my current personal net worth? There's a multitude of factors and behavior that contributed to your current net worth. When I say behavior, it could have been very um, good financial discipline, it could be very poor. Um, it could have been your investment strategies. It could be the way you've worked. Have you been working long and hard and executed hard? Um, these are all things. We're going to go through a whole lot later. There's a whole lot of these factors that will influence, determinant factors as we call them, that will influence, that have influenced your current net worth and will continue to influence your future predicted net worth. And it's our ability to change those factors through our behavior that will determine whether our net worth improves or stays the same or potentially even goes down. The third question I have here is what will my future personal net worth be? Most people could not tell you. They have a dream to retire with a certain amount of uh, a certain personal net worth but they have no way of really determining that. And a similar question there, what factors will determine my future personal net worth? What are the factors that are going to influence how much my personal net worth grows from now until a future date, that age of retirement? And what behavior will I need to change in order to achieve that? Right, let's have a look at what's in the Net Worth 100x Toolkit, which you would have downloaded. The first thing is that there will be the calculator. This calculator, I'll talk about it in the next item or next two items down, is based on Microsoft Excel. It is a Microsoft Excel based tool and you need to have Microsoft Excel for this tool to work effectively. We cannot guarantee results on any other spreadsheet platforms. The second thing you're going to get is an end user license agreement. Very importantly, this license agreement is licensed to you to use for your personal net worth calculations. It is not to be passed around to friends and colleagues. Please respect that by using this tool, by downloading this end user license agreement, you are agreeing to it. Thirdly, as I said just now, Microsoft Excel. There is a free version available. If you go, if you look at this guide, you'll see on the web, there's a free version available. It is only 30 days, extendable for a further 30. Um, our advice, obviously, if you're going to be um, using potentially our Plan 100x business planning tool, as well as this, it might make sense for you just to buy a copy of Microsoft Excel. There is an online version as well of Microsoft Excel. However, uh, we've looked at it and there are one or two formatting issues. So although it works well, um, it can be used. We just want to give you a heads up right up front and say there are a few formatting issues. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the Net Worth 100x predictive personal net worth calculator in terms of the inputs and outputs from the two elements of the calculator. The first is the current personal net worth. What are you worth today? So for this we need to note down the our investments, savings and shares, bank accounts and credit card balances, other debt and money owed to you, asset records, values and earnings, and as well as monthly net income. The output from this is going to be our current personal net worth um, and there is year-on-year -year tracking. So we're able to just scroll down in the tool, I'll show you just now, and input these values year-on-year. -year. And what that does is it allows us to track very closely how our net worth and 
our personal income is tracking on a year-by-year -year basis. So a very nice graphical output. You don't just have to look at tables. There's a lovely graphical output there. There's also financial goals. We allow for you to come back, and this we say come back later after you've looked at your predictive personal net worth in the future, and you look at the type of behavioral changes you're going to have to make, and what factors are going to influence that growth of your net worth. Then you're going to come back to this um, part of the tool, and you're going to input some financial goals. And um, as I said just now, very importantly, is the personal net worth tracking table. You're going to go down and put this information in year on year um, as you update your net worth. Next up is the future personal net worth, the predicted net worth component of this tool. Um, we're going to input um, our personal information and what's important here is, is our age. Uh, it does ask you when you started work. Um, to earn money, your age and your retirement age. So that gives you how many years are left in order to um, increase your personal net worth. Continuing, we need to um, look at the interest that we have achieved, received um, on the various investments, assets and bank accounts. So it's probably averaged over the time you've been working and earning money, but it is important for us to be able to take a look at what those average interest rates were that you've been earning because we're going to use some of that to predict the future. Then we're going to split uh, our personal net worth up into these um, different elements for the future. So what we're saying is we, we can see from the past in terms of what we just input in the current net worth calculator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to predict the future and we're going to have a look at how we would like to see our personal net worth split in these four elements investment savings and shares bank accounts and credit cards other debt and money owed to you as well as assets how do you see the split being um, over these four different areas then very importantly the determinant factors past and future so the past what factors do you believe have influenced your current personal net worth let me just give you one example. It can, it can be financial discipline. It can be the fact that you've been very, very frugal. You've saved money every month. You've invested it wisely. That is a determinant factor. Um, if, if we contrast that with someone who's had poor financial discipline, they would not have saved, they would not have invested, and their net worth would not have grown. Now, we have about, I think it's 15, we'll have a look at them just now, determinant factors. Factors that have affected your net worth growth in the past and then obviously we're going to look at where we're going to change this how we're going to change these determinant factors going forward because certainly there could be a far bigger influence on your, your personal net worth going forward if you change and focus on different determinant factors I hope that makes sense so then what, what we're going to do is we're going to rate previously and going forward right so what I mean by this is um, we're going to rate how effectively we've been in these different factors. So let's just take one factor which I know is execution. If we've been exceptionally poor on execution, we're going to rate that a 1. If going forward we, we say to ourselves we're going to change that and on, in, in the determinant factor called execution, we're going, to, we're going to get ourselves out of that sitting room chair, we're going to get behind our computers, we're going to go do some work, we're going to create a company, we're going to build an online business, whatever we're going to do, and we're going to execute hard. We're going to take that to a three. Our execution is going to become a three. Three is the top score. And that three would happen over a number of years. It's not instant. You are going to develop the ability to execute over a period of time. So I would say the minimum time we're going to have to change these habits and ways of working is six months. Uh, but we're going to have ramp up years. What are the, what is ramp up years about? It is really the time it takes you to get up to that level three, or you might even go to a level two. You might not say that you have to be um, at a level three in every determinant factor, but it's the ramp up period. And what we do there is is we don't give the full credit of that uh, uh, um, the determinant factor immediately. We say it's going to take you half a year, a year, a year and a half, two years to learn the skills, to change your behavior, to be able to have that determinant factor influence your personal net worth going forward. So I hope that makes sense to you. The output from this obviously is your personal, your 
future personal net worth. And again, we have a very graphical output in terms of what factors contributed to your net worth of the past and what factors are contributing to your net worth in the future. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump straight into the tool and uh, take you through it. It's very exciting. And um, I'll see you inside the tool. Cheers. Hi, so here we are in the Net Worth 100X Predictive Personal Net Worth Calculator tool. Before we get into the tool itself, I just want to show you a couple of things. Um, on the right, it says, top right here, input the gray section. So in all the tools that we produce, we indicate the inputs by a gray field. And these are all the fields that are available to you. The other fields are locked out. You know, there are a lot of calculations happening in the background here. So we don't really want you going in and adjusting those calculations. So the inputs are all the gray fields. Also on the right here, you'll see two summary tables. If there's not enough space within the tool to um, to add all your your information in, you can easily sum on the right-hand side. You just add in the information on the right, put the amounts in, and um, and add them up and then take this total through into the calculator itself. Also important to note that when we finished and we're going to go down to it again later, I just want to draw your attention to it, is that um, the the tracking data is at the bottom of the tool. So when we scroll down, this is the tracking data. Now all these white fields which you see up top here will become populated as we start to add data in the tool itself and then it's up to us to put the data in here and then to add, to actually just copy these numbers down into the tracking data and what that does then is it allows the charts to be populated with the information. Right, so let's go back up to the top. First thing we're going to do is enter a name, so let's call our name David Blake and um, we're going to input a currency. I le I'm leaving this as United States at the moment and you can see what happens as we get the, uh, the currency symbol which appears at a summary level. So let's just move into investment, savings, and shares firstly. I'll just delete all those inputs, and we're going to just say here uh, um, shares on NASDAQ. And we're going to call this shares. And let's put an amount in here. Let's call it $243,000. Nice sum of money invested in NASDAQ. Um, let's just say we have some other investments in portfolios or something to that effect. We're going to call that investments. And let's call that 72,350. Also in the green, nice and positive. Now you can see what's happening at the top here is these are obviously contributing directly to our net worth. So they're adding at the top. Um, let's just leave it at those two for now. In terms of our bank balances, um, we're going to just say here we have a, a bank one, let's say a bank one account. And this is a current account. And for... Just to use the example, we're going to put this in as minus $43,000, indicating that we are uh, in overdraft. We may be using that money in short term to finance some project or other, uh, but that certainly is a amount that we would need to pay back. And you can see what happened there as we entered it. Your net worth dropped down by this $43,000 because it's a negative amount. Um, let's just say that we had a credit card as well. Um, uh, uh, let's say credit card number one, and that is... We owe some money on that. We need to work it down. And then uh, we have credit card number two. Um, and that is going to be also a credit card, obviously. And let's just say that's at zero balance, which is really good. We haven't spent money on it. All right, so um, then we move down to other debt and money owed to you. I'm going to just put in here um, um, owed to Uncle Bob for want of something. Let's just say Uncle Bob put some money into the business and that's a debt and obviously a debt we are going to put in as a negative and then this is a loan to Mary Stevens and that is money that she owes me or David Blake I should say and that is 22400 and that's a positive. So you can see what's happening here. We have a, a, a balance, a, a total from investment savings and shares at 315,350. We're taking off the 63,000 owed from our bank account, and we're taking off another 11,600 owed from debt and money owed. Right, we're going to move over to asset records. 
So the first thing we're going to put here is we have our own home. You might just put the address in there. And there's going to be no income or expenses from this because it's not a, um, a business per se. It's not a profit generating business. Uh, but however, we do have an asset value that's going to add to our net worth. So the value on this property, they want to call it 165,000. At this level, we're not putting in the thousands. You can see the note here that we need to input it as thousands. So let's say the mortgage on this was 43,000. That's the 43, and you can see what happens there. The 165 less the 43 becomes 122. Uh, now we move on to a rental property. Uh, rental property number one. And this, uh, let's start off this side actually and say the, the value of this is um, 85,000. We've got a mortgage on that of 52. And um, we got an income coming in from this of 2760 a month. And we've got expenses of 1360. The second property, um, rental property number two, we're going to call it at um, 85,000 dollars with a mortgage of 45 and let's just say here we bring in 1600 and we got expenses of 1250 I mean these fix these figures are all obviously fictitious but we're just giving an example of how this works so what's happening here is we can see that this total net asset value 217,000 is being taken straight up to the top here as a direct contributor towards your total net worth, personal net worth. Um, this 240, we explained that is the, the sum of these three. And what's happening now, you can see on the top left here, is we're starting to put together some numbers around income. So this is the income, the net income, 1410 coming up to the top, which is a contributor towards your monthly net income. I said earlier, we're going to keep track of this, even though it's not a direct contributor to your personal net worth. But it is important for us to track this year on year to make sure that it's going in the right direction. So, so at the top here, we have your net income from your main role. And we're going to put this in here at 8500 a month. Net income, remember, that uh, is, includes any commissions. And then let's just say that we have an internet business uh, that's bringing us in some extra money every month. And that's going to come in at... 2,500 and let's just say that we're doing some consulting work and that's coming in let's just call this at 3,000 uh, 3, right so you can see what's happening we our income's growing very nasty we're in at 15,410 a month and really that's all we need to do at this level um, we've input all the numbers we need we're going to come back and put the financial goals in once we've looked at the predictive the future personal net worth. So now what we have to do now is go down to the tracking data at the bottom and update all this information. So let's go down, let's scroll down and you can see what's happened is it's populated all these fields. So we're going to go down and just simply input this data. This is a minus obviously minus 63 and minus 11600 and then 217 Zero, zero, zero. Right. So that is our total net worth, um, 457,750, which is the number we see at the very top here. Now, what's happening if you look at these graphs is we're starting to see um, our personal net worth graph come into play and then our monthly net income um, coming into play as well. And we can see what is contributing towards that income in terms of the colors. Right, so at the top here in the red text, now what's off to the right is not going to be printed out. Um, all this on the right hand side is just uh, for your information or for assisting you in completing this net worth 100x tool. Um, but we do recommend that you print this to PDF. So when you've completed this, um, we, we just say to you just um, push the print button at Mac obviously it's command P and what's going to happen here is that it's going to take you to the print screen and we're just going to save it and date it as a PDF there we have the PDF that's come up looking really nice it's two pages long with the first page and then we have a second page which is the graphical output and that gives you your current personal net worth we're not going to save that now um, so 
Two things I want to mention just before we move forward. The one is that we have a fully supported help desk. If you have any issues with this tool or need some more explanation, we have a very good frequently asked questions section. We can also log a support case a ticket and we will come back to you. So make a note of this. Um, also what's very useful is the user guide. Uh, on this third tab here is a very, very clear, easy to understand user guide. Steps you through every step of the way to understand exactly what is put in, how it's put in, as you step through this tool. So let's move on to the future net worth. So this is the second tab, my future net worth 100x. Right, so here we are in my future net worth 100x, which is the part of the tool that is going to predict your future net worth. Now, before I go into the tool itself, let me just point out a disclaimer that's straight under this title here which basically is very clear about the fact that this is a predictive tool only and there's no guarantees attached to this obviously I and mean, there's nothing that we can do to guarantee your future net worth but it does allow you to start to visualize what can happen if you change your behavior around what we are calling determinant factors okay but let's get into this right so the first thing you'll notice is that the name Dave Blake comes through, and um, these d um, years here have to be input. We've got a default of 20, meaning um, the age that you started work, your current age is 30, and you're stopping work at 65. So uh, this person has been working for 10 years, and they've got 35 years left to go before they retire. And that's the aim of this, to say, how much have you built to date? And how do we take that amount and, and uh, um, forecast, it, predict it going forward uh, in terms of what uh, you need to do in terms of changing behavior in uh, growing that net worth. So also important here is to notice that all the inputs, you can see up top, there's not a lot of input in this form. These three need inputting percentages, and then it's these two for five columns. There's not a lot to input. Let's start up top here. So you're going to put in your personal information, the, the year you started work, your current age, and when you're going to stop work. Let's leave it at, as it is for now, 20, 30, and 65, giving us 35 years remaining. What's going to, what you can see here is that your current net worth has come through from the first tab at this 457,750, right? It's important to note again, the small print here says that this split of how your net worth is um, split between these four categories, assets, investments, bank accounts, and either debt or owed to you, cannot really work off a negative amount. So hopefully you don't have large negative amounts sitting in here, but where there's a negative amount, you'll see a zero because you cannot do a split when there's a zero. So effectively, this total um, adds up these two amounts, less this, but then the calculation, the percentage, is done only on these two. I hope that makes sense. Right, so what we're going to do next is estimate. This is also quite difficult to estimate the interest rate you've received in these different categories over the past 10 years and it is an average over 10 years so I'm going to just put in here I'm going to say on assets we've got 8% on uh, investments 7 and bank accounts 5 um, okay you probably wouldn't have any interest on debt or you, you could but I'm, but I'm leaving that at zero for now um, not, not a good idea to have lots of short-term debt or people owing you money all right, so moving over to the future interest rates, um, either we keep them the same or hopefully we can try and improve them. Um, I'm going to just put you 7.5. I'm going to go and try and get more better investments, uh, better interest percentage, I beg your pardon, on the investments and the bank accounts as well. I'm going to try and go for another half a percent. Um, now you can see what's happening here. There's still a, a warning sign here, must equal 100% because we need to put in these splits here. So we're going to put in the split as to how we see this moving forward. I'm going to just put in 60 and 40. I'm not going to have uh, any investment sitting in bank accounts. And um, certainly I'm not going to have money 
owed to me or I'm going to owe money short term to people or banks. So I have left that zero, zero. So I'm going to have a split here of 60, 40. What's happened in terms of these percentages here is it's averaged at 7.8%, right? Based on these splits. So we've got 100% in both cases, which is good. And we're going to move from the 41.59. As we move forward, we want to end up with 60, 40 in terms of assets and investments. Right, so moving down, I'm going to only do a few of these, but there are a multitude of determinant factors. Financial discipline, investment strategy, income, career, net, your network of people that, that can influence your wealth, your career and your wealth, um, personal health, goal setting. These are all things that can influence your uh, acquisition and, and, and building of your net worth. So at the bottom here, I'm going to type an in internet business, which is actually in at the moment, and I'm going to put property investment here, which uh, you know that we're working on that. So um, I'm going to put in 10% there, 0% for the internet business, because we, well, then we put in 5%. Now, coming up the top here, um, I'm going to say that uh, financial discipline has been really, really influential in terms of building my current net worth. As, as has been my investment strategy. My income, I'm going to say, obviously, that's been very big. I'll even go 25%. Now, what I'm doing is I'm watching the bottom here. This can't go more than 100%. It's currently at 70 So my career has had quite a dominant effect. I'm going to put that in at uh, 10 I've got 20% left to go. My network of people, mm, goal setting, I'm going to put in at 10%. I've been very big on goal setting and achieving. And my ability to execute, I'm going to put at 10%. Right, so I've totaled 100%. These are the factors that I believe have influenced my current total net worth. Right, so as I've put these numbers in, you've seen what's happened here. You've seen what's happened is that the same net worth that you're seeing at the top, the 457, 750, has been split across the determinant factors that I chose that I determined have had an influence, have determined what my current net worth is. Well, that divided by the 10 years that I've been working gives me my past contribution per year. Obviously, it hasn't been linear. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at moving forward. So that's the past, the orange, the green is moving forward. So I'm saying to you that my internet business, I'm going to ramp up to 35%. I'm going to, that's going to be a huge huge thing for me and in fact my property business as well I'm going to take to 20% now be careful I've got 55% left my career and my income I'm going to drop them right down I'm going to say that's going to be 10% uh, and this is going to be 5% uh, I'm not going to focus on my career uh, my financial discipline I've got ooh, I've got 30% left uh, I'm going to just put that at 10 and 10 well let me leave it at 15 15 I, I can't really go down this Although it's not going down, it is the influence. Remember that. These ratings are whether we go down or not, and that's a different thing. So I'll come to that now. But right now, I'm just saying in terms of the, the, the influence on um, my future net worth, this is the way I'm rating it. Uh, I've, I've got 10% left. I'm going to just put it in here in terms of execution, 5% uh, here, we'll put 5% there, and I'm going to put 5% on goal setting. So you can see that there's a different um, focus. If you look at these numbers here, exactly the same numbers, 457, 750, have been spread differently across these determinant factors, if you can look at that. Right? So um, that's the way I'm seeing it. Um, it doesn't have to be all the same. I could... Um, drop some off and bring others in. For example, I could have sales ability. I could bring that in and uh, drop something else down by five. In fact, let's do that. Let me drop um, income down by another 5% and I'm going to bring in sales ability here. Okay, so what do we do next? We're going to rate the past and the future out of three, between one and three. So it can be from one being basic or no skill, and three is exceptional skill, the highest level. So what I'm going to say here is, in the past, if I look at these, I'm going to go, just for want of um, 
simplicity uh, 2 to uh, 2.5 um, Courier 2.5 I've been very good at that this is how <clears throat> good you are how skilled you are in these areas goal settings I'd give myself a 2.5 um, sales I'll give myself a two we need to pick that up a bit execution I've always been good I've got to execute harder even still now internet business I would give myself a 1.5 um, and on property development I'll give myself a two now what I've got to do now these have got to be at least one um, so what I'm going to do now is rate where I want to see myself in terms of these skills going forward so in terms of financial discipline I want to be at least at a 2.8 um, the same with my investment strategy 2.8 I want to be right up top um, in terms of income um, I'm gonna leave that at 2.5 I don't need to focus on that uh, career again I'm not focusing on that I'll leave that at 2.5 you can't be lower once you add a certain skill level that stays the same and um, on goal setting uh, oh, I need to maybe pick it up to 2.7 um, sales ability from 2 I want to go up to 2.5 very important in any entrepreneurship uh, to have good sales capability in terms of execution at 2.5 I've got to be up at 3 I've got to be I've got to be able to execute really really hard uh, in terms of internet business I was 1.5 I want to take myself to a 2.5 and uh, property development I'm a 2 I want to go as well up to 2.5 so that just gives you an idea of the past rating one being the lowest three being the highest where you were and where you see yourself going obviously to get here is going to take effort and it's going to take time so the next column is how long how long will it take you to get from one rating to the next in terms of financial discipline I'm going to give myself half a year so 0 0.5 0 0.5 six months um, my income I'm just leaving at zero I'm not interested in, in improving that in fact it stays exactly the same zero zero now I go down to goal setting I want to make sure that that is um, I'm gonna say in six months I'm gonna have that up and really running again um, so sales ability that's gonna be a bit longer uh, that's gonna be a year I'm gonna put one in there execution uh, it's got to be instant there's, there's got to be um, no wait time I'm going from 2.5 I've got to execute harder straight away this is nothing to learn this is just working so much harder and then in terms of internet business I'm gonna give myself 18 months so this is gonna be 1.5 um, years and uh, in property development as well I'm gonna give myself two years there now what this is doing if you look across here if you look across here this is using the numbers we've just put in the ramp up years here it's using them to calculate how much you've made in the ramp up years and it's using this predicted contribution to net worth you can see four five seven eight here we use it here again and it's for half a year six months there's our interest rate remember we calculated that interest rate up top and this is using straightforward financial formulas in terms of present value uh, interest rate number of payments payment value type of payment and future value normal standard financial formulas before we get on to this part I want to take you back here remember we said this is now the revised contribution based on the determinant factors for our future so the same amount the current net worth if we invested this for 35 years look at the bottom here 35 years at 7.8 percent that is what your 457 750 dollars 457 thousand 750 dollars would be worth in 35 years time 6.342 million 858 all right so we're going to bank that you can see the a at the bottom here that is contributing to your future net worth we're going to take this amount of money invested at 7.8 percent average and it's going to be six three four two eight five eight important to remember that this percentage is weighted and that's why we put these splits in here because the percentage is weighted according to the split okay so the ramp up years I think you understand that we put the ramp up years in um, we've got the interest rate which is weighted we've got the um, 
the amount which is uh, redistributed according to the um, determinant factors for the future and this calculates the future value here at 51,422. This 51,422 is used as the present value for the remaining years. So what happens is when we go forward now and we've gone through these ramp up years and we've acquired these skills in the different areas of the determinant factors, what happens is the amount gets used, these amounts get used going forward. Those amounts are the uh, um, net present value and, they, and that is used, you can see at the bottom here, the um, present value is this future value below here. So this value gets taken forward into the present value for the remaining years. And what we then do is we increase this. I want you to look at the small print below. See the little asterisk here? Look below. The, 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 um, the payment value is equal to the annual predicted contribution to net worth times by the future rating, rating divided by the past rating. So times by the future rating divided by the past rating. This is how much you're going to increase your focus, your effort, your energy, your results in each of these determinant factors. Does that make sense? So we're going to increase this amount in terms of this formula here. And there's the remaining years. So all the years you took to wrap up is taken off the 35. Um, you can look at the bottom here where we had two years. You take it off the 35 and there we're only using 33 years. And we use that going forward at 7.8%. And what that does is it gives us a result of the future value at 35 years. So here we have $10,194,899. Now, this amount has been used, as I said, in the present value for this calculation. So all we need to add is the past, which is this 6342858, that's A, and we need to add B, which is the 10194899, and that becomes $16,537,757 million. So C equals A plus B. That's your predicted net worth in 35 years' time. What's interesting is that if you look at the bottom here, the predicted annual net worth growth for 35 remaining earning years is 292.752 per annum. 5.4 times, 5.4 times the past. That's a huge amount, and it's because of this ramp up. It's because of this ramp up past and the future, um, going from the skill, the focus that you had, and what you're going to go to, that is what is causing this increase in the, um, the payment on an annual basis for 35 years or however many it is in terms of remaining years. Very, very important to note that there's a, it's a huge difference. Obviously, this is also um, taking into account the compound interest that's happening over this time, but that just gives you an idea of how powerful this tool is in recognizing what this future payment could be. Now, obviously, the, the very big thing here is how long it takes you to ramp up to be able to take your, your skill level uh, and capability level from the past rating to the future rating. Don't understate this rather overstated a bit. It um, allows the ramp up years to be a little bit longer, make a little bit less money potentially, but maybe it gives a more realistic number. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you look at the bottom here, all the calculations are laid out. It's not a black box. It's very, very clear where the, where the, the numbers come from. It's pure financial formulas. The only thing we've done is we've applied some I think some fairly clever logic in terms of using determinant factors, looking at the past, looking at the future, rating them, ramping them up, and then working it forward in a financial model. I hope that makes sense to you. So below here we've got a place for some actions. 
uh, and focus areas. So you're going to come in here and write down what you're going to do. And what's going to be, what's very interesting now is when we look below here. Right, this is interesting. Look at this. Look at the influence that this has had. This is your internet business. Look at that in the past and look at it in the future. And what this does is it tells you exactly how your net worth has been split up in past years to get you to your current point and how are you predicting it going forward. This is really interesting. So I hope you're going to find this valuable. Again, let me say to you, it's not an exact science. It's designed to allow you to look at how you're focusing your time, your effort. What are you spending time on? Um, do you need to acquire more skill? Do you need to get some training? How hard do you need to execute in order to build your future net worth? So what you're going to do now is, again, just um, look at printing this out. And uh, as I said on a Mac, it's uh, Command P and you come up with the uh, print. This is not a database. Um, you need to save this uh, and uh, save it as a PDF, but that's how it looks. It's pretty impressive. Uh, you have your graphical output as well. There's two pages of that, and um, we're not going to save this now, but you typically save it as a PDF. Right. And that's it. So um, once we've done this, we're going to nip back into the Net Worth 100X tool, and we're going to set ourselves some financial goals. Very, very important here to be able to set some financial goals for ourselves. And um, the start date, percentage completion, finish date, these will probably roll over year on year. And um, the only way to really focus on this is to be able to set goals, work at them, focus on them, and to regularly measure yourself. So save this tool as a PDF. Remember, uh, the minute you, you come in again and, and update this data, it overrides the previous data. It's not a database, it's a spreadsheet. So do that. Do not um, make that mistake because then you'll lose your previous year's data. Save it as a PDF so that when you input data again the next year or the next six months, however long you choose to use a year is probably a good timing, then you haven't overwritten the previous year. Okay, we're going to just get back into the presentation and then I'll finish off. Right, so I hope that made sense to you. I know it's probably a bit complicated to start with, but what I suggest is have this um, video going on the side, pause it, go in, work on it, and then um, just step through it as you work on your Net Worth 100X um, tool, and, uh, and I'm sure it will work for you. So I really hope that you're able to get some value from this. It's, it's able to give you your current net worth. You're able to see... Um, how to move forward, how to change your behavior, what to focus on. Um, changing your financial future is not going to drop out of the sky. It's going to take effort. It's going to take execution. It's going to take goals. So go ahead and make it happen. Finally, I want to say to you, if you haven't subscribed to Team Success 100X, sign up now. You know, we have these five different areas which you can get updates on. Not every week, but we're going to be um, sending information out to you on a regular basis. You don't have to select all. If you look at the form, um, you can select what, what you would like to receive information on. But I want to say to you, sign up. We have some fantastic courses coming up uh, in these different areas, these five areas of life, career, business, online, and wealth. So I look forward to hearing from you. Please give us some feedback if you've used this tool, if you like it, if it's working for you. Um, feedback to us, report, um, uh, go onto our website, contact us, uh, drop us a line on Facebook, on YouTube, wherever. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to get a testimonial from you as to how it's changed your life. Thank you so much. Uh -huh.